Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are continuing our legacy challenge I have a feeling this is going to be a very sad episode um, Our heir, our current heir, Charlie, is probably going to pass And I'm not ready. I will never be ready <laughs> Grab yourself some tissues, grab yourself some snacks, whatever it is that you need to get through this episode I'll wait for you or you could just pause. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm excited. I have a feeling this is going to be a very packed and loaded episode. So yes, get yourself comfortable, get some tea, get some snacks, let's hang out. I'm excited to be filming today. I wanna to show you guys my new slippers. I think they're really, really cute. That's probably not the best way to do it. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? They have little smiley faces on them and I'm obsessed. I can't stop wearing them. They're really, really comfy and cozy and warm. I got them on Etsy. I'll link them in the description for you guys if you want. This is not sponsored. I'm just very, very excited about them, as you can tell. I also do have a Celsius. I've got kiwi guava today, so let's crack this open and get into today's video. Happy Monday, by the way. Hopefully this will be up by Monday. I had a really busy weekend because I got the keys to my new apartment and we moved some boxes from storage. I haven't moved any of my furniture yet because moving companies are all booked up right now and it's just, it's, it's, it's difficult <laughs> and I won't be in my new apartment until probably the end of July I'll just be moving back moving stuff back and forth from my parents house to my new apartment for the next month or so so yeah if my upload schedule is a little, little bit weird if I miss a video or two that's probably why because it's just kind of a busy time but I'm so excited to get settled into my new place have super fast internet so that I can upload videos way faster than I am right now and yeah, oh shoot, I totally forgot I made some I made some changes to the lot. I'll have to show you guys that too. <laughs> anyway, cheers to you, cheers to this video. I'm so excited to be filming today. I love you, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so I told you guys last week that I was going to be um, like slowly but surely making everything more modern in the lot. So what I have done so far is I changed the outside fence to something that was a little bit more modern. I changed the mailbox and I've been working on the landscaping out here. It's definitely Definitely not done. <laughs> we more we need more plants to cover up the jagged edges of the walkway, but um and I changed the fountain out here too. I also changed the guest house to match the main house. I put the rocket on the roof. I also put the weather machine up there. Uh, there's nothing inside of there right now. I've just kind of been working on like the exterior of everything. I'm sorry, it's so dark. You can barely see. I also changed the graveyard fence and the entryway. I changed the the uh, magic house to, ch to match. I also changed legacy house to match. And I changed the fence over here too. And I also changed the awning a little bit. Basically, I just made everything look a bit more modern to match the other house. I have not touched Ren's house yet. I don't know if I want to, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. I can't wait to work on it some more. I just want it to be done already. And I just have, I don't know, I just have a good feeling about it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and see what everybody's up to. It looks like everyone is right where I left them. Okay, fair enough. So Raquel's spirit is fading away. I don't know who Raquel is, so that's fine. Um, all right, Wonderful Whims is updated. Is Autonomy on? Did I turn it off for some? Oh my God, no, 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 no. No, Oops. no, no, that was so freaking fast. What the heck? Not in the kids' room. Not in the kids' room. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. I knew this was going to happen. I don't know why I'm surprised, but it's it, it hurts a lot more than I thought. Not Charles, not my Charles, not my baby. Oh my gosh, okay. Proceed, Grim. The baby is very confused. No, 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 why does, oh God, why does everyone have to come in here? Oh no. Okay, something stinks. When's it gonna register? Hello? Oh. Is she like denying what she's seeing right now? Uh. 
Is everyone in denial? What is happening? Okay, Leslie's cussing over there. Zoe's finally registering. Oh, there she goes. Oh, no. No! Not the selfie! Not the death selfie. Oh, no. I hate this so much. Something smells. I don't know. Oh, it's this baby. Oh, God. Okay. Sliced and diced. No. Not the finger. Oh, God. Charlie's officially gone, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Everyone is extremely sad except for Ren. I don't know what she's feeling. Is she feeling energized? She's not really that phased by the death. Right. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put Charlie out in the graveyard. Um, oh my gosh. And Leslie's out here mourning someone. I don't know who. But everyone has school. Shoot, she's mourning Max. Stella, ah, uh, you know, I'm going to get you to take some paid time off. Your husband just died, so I'm going to let you just chill for a bit. Um, so Charlie can go right here oh even ophelia's crying uh, in the graveyard why why are you all mourning max please stop you're making this so much harder on yourself than it needs to be so it seems as though all the heirs are over here and then like all the random people that died are over here i mean not random but like <laughs> not not heirs um please stop it ophelia stop 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 Oh god, these freaking children. Why are you all mourning Max? Please stop. Oh, you can lock this door. Well, that's nice. I wish you could lock it for toddlers. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the slideshow of all of our memories with Charlie. Grab your tissues. Here we go. <laughs>
right, guys. Um, rest in peace, Charlie. I engraved his epitaph here. He will be remembered as the best dad ever, which he definitely will be. Oh man, this house just isn't gonna be the same, is it? Let me um, find a photo of him to put up in his pedestal over here. Uh, we did take one, right? Oh no, did we not? Oh, there's this one. <laughs> oh, it's so dark, I'm sorry. But uh, I actually love this pig, so I think we'll do this. If not, we'll just change it later. Okay, so on his little pedestal, we are going to do probably his starlight accolade. We can do the... Uh, the flower cart. Boom. How cute is that? I love that so much. Okay, let me grab the flower cart from the the uh, <laughs> From over here if you guys don't remember he, Charlie had this phase where he Freaking was viewing this cart. I kid you not like eight hours a day It was becoming obsessive and if you, you guys were like if you don't put that on his pedestal I'm writing I was like, all right fair enough <laughs> Okay, so I'm probably gonna like size it down so it looks so crazy. This is um, Olive's dog, by the way. I don't know why he's in a regular urn versus all of these urns over here. I might move these urns to um, <coughs> to the graveyard to be with Batman. Uh, what else should we put on Charlie's little thing here? His streaming thing, his little uh, drone. I'm gonna grab his comedy mic as well. His drone is in someone's inventory. I need to uh, grab it from there. Okay, yeah. So drone, comedy, microphone stand, his starlight accolade, his flower cart. I think that's that's pretty good. We can also put like a uh, one of the kids drawings on there or something just to represent like how good of a dad he was. Or even like one of these cute plates would be cute too. Um, one of the ones that looks like it was drawn on <laughs> by one of the kids. All right, that's pretty good. What do we have for Olives again? Her style board. Oh yeah, the alien thing. She was very geeky and um, she was paranoid too. So she was into like conspiracy theories and all that. <laughs> her bunny. We have her tablet here, which I think, oh yeah, that's right. I can't put it up there. Right there is fine. Uh, yellow flowers, cause she was obsessed with yellow. For Savannah. I think maybe I should swap Sav's and Max's stuff because um, it, it's not going in order. Let me do that really quick. All right, there we go. That's better. Now it's in order. <laughs> Love to see it. All right. Okay, so next order of business, you guys, not Charlie. I'm so sad. Aw, Stella and Zoe are in here sleeping, napping together. They probably cried themselves to sleep, to be honest. Since Ren's feeling all right, I'm gonna, oh, 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 now she's depressed. No, you have the emotion bomb quirk since when? Shoot, that sucks. All right, can you come out here and supercell all of this, please? And it's Ophelia's birthday. Oh Lord, okay. Stella, I'm really sorry, but you're gonna have to like, put on your big girl pants. Oh, you poor baby. Oh gosh, okay. You're gonna have to put on your big girl pants and cook a cake for your daughter. You still have children that you need to look after even though your husband just passed away. How sad, how freaking sad. I hate it. I hate that they're putting all of their plates on this shelf now too, that's really annoying. <laughs> Marnie's going to school and Leslie. Okay, study hard if you can. I'm sorry that you had to go to school today, that sucks. Look at this little matcha station. Isn't this cute? <laughs> I imagine that this is a matcha whisk and she whisks her matcha in this bowl. And she has like a little matcha thing up here too. So cute. So as far as Zoe goes, you guys wanted... Honey, no, stop, stop. Oh my God, and these children really need baths. Oh, there's a bathtub in here. Okay, yeah, can you give Bellamy a bath? I'll give all the kids a bath, please. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you so much, Kieran. He was special to you as well, honey. Just saying. Also, this fountain is really kind of bothering me. I need to find a smaller one because <laughs> it's like not even going in the pool. It's just like going over the edge. Okay, so cha-cha-cha, la-la-la-la. 
My game is running pretty smoothly, knock on wood. I wonder if it's because I got rid of most of like the landscaping right here. I wonder. You guys said that you can give toddlers baths in the sink, but I've been trying and it doesn't work for some reason. Right, Ren, what were we what, what uh thing were we working on for you? Writing, you've almost maxed your writing. Okay, come over here, my love, and let's get that done. So we can start working on a different skill for you. I cannot believe. Let's write a love email to Caleb. I cannot believe. Felix, why do you oh my god, she has romance with Felix. Oh my oh my god, that's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> I cannot believe how quickly she has maxed this skill. It's honestly kind of crazy. Finish your choripan. Oh my gosh, Stella. Widow, from losing a true love, few things are sadder than when spouses are separated by death. Oh man. Let's put uh, Bailey in the kiddie pool and see if that helps his hygiene. <laughs> what are you doing with Rocio? Check her. Sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you want to make a donation to charity? Um, sure. Why not? Oh, God. All right. Um, right. I'm going to get her to drink one of these potions and plentiful needs. And then uh, what else? Do we oh, yeah. Right. So as I was saying about Zoe. Oh, my gosh. Bruce is here. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. He's sad, too. Let's just invite him in. Um, what else? I just want to like give him a hug and just let him know that like we're in the same boat just have a deep conversation um so yeah a lot of you guys love lamar like to death and i don't blame you he's honestly kind of perfect but uh some of you guys were also saying that you want to see how zoe and kiyoshi get on so i'm gonna go ahead and get them to go on a date ask for reassurance um i just want to see how they how they they mesh you know because we could just tell that zoe and lamar like had something and i want to see if that's present also with kiyoshi just to, like give him a chance those are some pretty flowers aren't they those are that's wolf spain absolutely beautiful right uh so when do you have class 20 hours three hours and you haven't even done your homework okay i'm gonna need you to do your homework for particle parts ma'am i'm gonna get stella to also drink a potion of plentiful needs Hey, Rotheo, there's some... Oh, shoot, it's spoiled. Okay, can you ask Bruce for food? No? All right, well, let's just share the love with him then. <laughs> I'll grab you something out of the fridge here. Mmm, there's so many fresh fruits in here. I love to see it. Who's calling Ren? Oh, Kieran. Yes, 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 we can chat. Of course, of course. Honeys, there's a bunch of food over here. Grab some. How are Ophelia's skills, by the way? Because we're going to age her up today. Oh no, she's so close to freaking maxing everything. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to get to work on that. All right, Zoe is off to class. Take your homework with you, you silly bean. Make good choices. Oh god, she's late. It looks like Ren maxed her writing skill. She can now write a biography and mentor other Sims in writing, which is fantastic. Zoe, take notes. Ren, I think you should totally write a freaking biography. Welcome back, Leslie. Welcome back from school. Why don't you um, play dolls with Ophelia? I really need her to get her imagination up, please. Please and thank you. Um. Oh my gosh, Bailey, what the heck is wrong with you, sir? What is wrong? Why are you crying? Aww. Too much dancing. Okay. Okay, baby. Ren, I'm gonna need you to finish that book, please. What is she, who's she talking to? Oh, right, Kieran, my bad. Yes, chat with Kieran. <laughs> um, class in two days, class in 16 hours. Okay, I need you to do your homework for the string theory one. Oh, here's, here's the drone. I'm gonna go and put this over here. Droney, drone, droney, drone. Kieran has spread some juicy gossip about Max. What could Max's ghost be getting up to? Sheesh. Who's calling Leslie? Bess Rico. No. <laughs> we all know Bess's phone calls are a scam. <laughs> all right. This little love, her imagination skills going up. I'm taking the Sims advice and yay, Ren finished her book. I'm taking the Sims advice and having her play dolls with another adult because when they do that, apparently their skill goes up faster. 
So let's submit this book to the literal digest, I think is what it's called. The literary, literary digest, not literal digest. What the heck? <laughs> Welcome back, Marnie. I hope that you had a good day at school today. Are you able to do your homework or are you too sad? Doesn't seem like you can. Ren's most recent book <gasps> nominated for an award. Ooh, Sunday at seven. There's no freaking way I'm going to remember that. But Ren has work in an hour. What is she doing? Dancing? All right. You need to go. Oh, shoot. She hasn't developed friendship. Oh, crap. She hasn't done any of her, <laughs> her assignments for work. Oh, well. She does need to be confident, though, which she already is. But I would like her to have one of these muse. No, that's for inspiration. Dang it. Where's the confident berries? Are there none? Hmm. That's weird. Where are the confident berries? Is this a confident potion? Oh. Boost your skill gain? Removes any lingering stench. Huh, okay. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like anyone has any confidence potions, but I just need her to secure. Um, so let's see, why don't you psych self up? I just need to be very confident, like bold, you know? What's the, what's the, what's the extreme confident moodlet again? Fearless, I need you to be fearless, ma'am. Oh, I forgot to put a gate. <laughs> into the freaking flowers over here my mistake there we go now she can super sell everything as soon as zoe finishes her homework ooh, ooh, uh we're gonna send her alone yes ren 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 go to work ren go to work ren 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 go to work oh stella's gardening level nine what ren go to work all right ren have a good freaking shift you're working hard yeah, who's calling Stella? Can you come over for a bit? I'm bored. Oh my God, of course. Of course, of course. It's a rabbit hole destination, but I think she should go see Luna. Talk to her about Charlie a little bit. Oh my God, this toddler is filth. Straight up filth. Holy cannoli. Go to work on off hours. What? No. All right, she's done. She's so depressed though. I don't know if this is a good time for her to go on a date. I feel like maybe we won't get like an accurate represent like an accurate depiction of how they get along if she's feeling depressed let's call the sadness hotline see if that does anything leslie uh where's your homework at oh marnie's crying in her bed ophelia is just over here crying on the couch bailey is over here crying in this chair bellamy is playing dolls with mom Rocio, Rocio is just standing here crying. Oh my gosh, these poor babies. I feel so bad. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen, but I didn't think it would be like this bad, but it is. Okay, Stella's off to go cry in the closet. Oh, we have a talent point. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this is... Holy crap. So the only things that Stella needs left are the mischief, the, the mischief master, the tame the untamable, and magical discounts. But other than that, oh, and this one too, incredible forager. Other than that, she has completed every single spellcaster tree thing, branch of the tree. That's so insane. I wonder if we get like a, a achievement for, for finishing that, because I've never done that before. Did you call the sadness hotline? Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. You guys, get out of the graveyard. I can't, you're just making, you're making it worse by morning, okay? I'm gonna lock this. I'm so tired of them going in here. Get out, get out of the graveyard, go. Leslie, get out of the graveyard. All right, I locked it for everyone, just for now. Cause all they wanna do is freaking mourn and I can't, I can't, I can't handle it. Why don't you just brighten everyone's day, Leslie? I don't know. Just, 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 just everyone, everyone help everyone. Oh, well, isn't this cute? So he's doing a little bit of flash card action with Bailey. Dude, Ophelia, <laughs> the state of Ophelia right now. What are you doing? Go to work. Why are you working right now, Stella? I know you're a workaholic, but honestly, that is just like so overkill. Okay, let's, let's give this baby a bath because she's 30. Happy birthday. Huh? It's not Leslie's birthday, is it? No, it's Ophelia's birthday. Shoot, we better age her up before she, um... Oh my gosh, she just needs a little bit more imagination. <sighs> Let's just get that done. Man, imagine um, having your birthday on the same day that your dad dies. 
that's so rough yes there she goes okay i wonder if we can do thinking with her like super duper fast before before 2 a.m hits all i need to do is watch watch a bunch of people okay it seems to be going up significantly all right there she goes she did it she did it she did it she did it watching is so overpowered why is it so overpowered in this game? I don't understand. <laughs> All right. Are, are you seriously at work right now? Oh my gosh, this lady. This workaholic trait that she has is pretty ridiculous. You need to come home and age up your daughter. And now she's stressed because... So I'm assuming that she is working to distract herself from, from everything going on with Charlie and... Like, I guess that's understandable, but you also do need to be with your family. All right, here we go. It is Ophelia's birthday. Let's go ahead and blow out those candles. She's so dirty. <laughs> dirty baby. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Really? This little bunghole took a slice and the freaking age up didn't work. Oh, you're gonna fart instead. I swear, my sims fart so much. Ugh, okay. Oh, don't curse in front of your kids, Stella. I'm so stoked that she maxed every single skill, though. We are, like, killing it on the skills, you guys. Which is kind of crazy, because, like, I don't... I don't, like, actively try to do the skills. They just freaking do it on their own. I might have to make another cake how annoying in two days it's leslie's birthday oh yeah and you guys were saying that i should probably keep leslie in the household with stella when i move them out if stella passes away from being an elder and there's kids left in the house then the kids could be taken away and i really do not want that so i need to keep one of the teens in the house and I think Leslie is probably the best option. Bellamy is very hungry. Okay, Ren, why don't you cook some breakfast for everybody? These poor children <laughs> haven't had a proper meal in I don't know how long. Let's do pancakes, a party size. Okay, let's see if it works this time. <laughs> please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Yes! All right. <gasps> okay, we get to find out what Ophelia is all about. And let me tell you, I could not be more excited. All right, you guys, here we go. It's Ophelia time. Oh God, I'm scared. Rambunctious scamp and geek. You guys, another geek. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What the heck? That trait is so strong. <laughs> holy cannoli okay so she likes like playing and she likes geeky stuff as well honestly not surprised i am not freaking surprised all right let's head into Cass and give her her little makeover she aged up with a mohawk let me know in the comments who your favorite kid is from all of the 10 gen not 10 generations but from all of the 10 kids that we've had so far from Charlie and Stella, let me know who your favorite is. All right, my love, let's get to work. Crap, I don't remember what she looked like as a kid. I need to reference my, my screenshots. I can't remember if she had blue eyes or green eyes or brown eyes. I think she had brown eyes, actually. I should add that into the plum, plum, the, the legacy family tree. If you guys don't know, I have a very extensive um, family tree for this family on the plum tree app. I will link it in the description but every uh, sim has their own like middle name. They have a description, like the, the skills that they've maxed, the um, aspirations that they've chosen or completed or whatever. And uh, yeah, maybe I should put like hair color and eye, um, hair color and eye color in there as well. Okay, so here's our baby. Brown eyes, freckles, platinum blonde hair and brown eyes, all right. I've been going through the hairs for quite a while now and I feel like she definitely suits more of like a tomboy style and then um Rothio can be our our super girly girl because <laughs> I don't feel like we have any of those oh my god this looks so cute on her what the heck I absolutely love that it's from uh I think that's get together <gasps> 
She looks so cute, what the heck? I need to like take off the feminine filter more when I dress my Sims. Cause, oh my gosh. It just opens up so many more possibilities. Look at this outfit from Snowy Escape. That's so cute. Oh my God, so adorable. Oh my gosh, look at her in this. Stop it right now, you cute bean. <gasps> I think for her main outfit, I'm gonna do this one from Cats and Dogs. I just think she looks so precious in it. Um, but what color? Probably this one. For her shoes, let's go with, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe just some sneakies, because her aspiration is rambunctious scamp, so she's gonna be playing a lot. Um, maybe just some, some vans. Okay, and then let's go to cold weather and see. Oh shoot, where'd her hair go? Flew off, here we go. I love this jacket. Oh, it's so cute. It, you can tell it kind of messes with her arm a little bit, but that's okay. All right, you guys, here she is, all done. She has one of those hairs that keeps changing color every time I click something. So if her hair changed colors during the game, then it is what it is. <laughs> so we have this outfit, this one, and this one. Oh God, she's too cute for words, I swear. I didn't give her a formal wear, but here's her athletic wear. Here's her sleep. Here's her party wear. Here is her swim, her hot weather. This is just so freaking cute. I would wear this. <laughs> and cold weather. I hope that you guys like her. I want her and Marnie to be like BFFs. I think they'll be so freaking cute. I wonder if they can become best friends as child, as children. You can have a best friend when you're a child in The Sims, right? I've done it before. Right? <laughs> I don't remember. If I could film Legacy every day, I would. I love how close Leslie and Rocio are. They seem to always be hanging out, chilling. Whoa, what is happening? Uh-oh, these beans woke up and they furious. People need to cook. Someone needs to cook. Ren, did you cook what I told you to cook? Whoa, how many times am I gonna say cook in one sentence? Um, Let's add candles to this again and just put it away. Did, what, I told you to cook something. Oh, I I told you to cook pancakes. Where did you put those? Also, uh, oh, flip those flapjacks. Toss that sauce. Ren is in her element. Does she want to gobble up this opportunity to embrace that she likes cooking? Heck yeah. All right. So let me, um, let me see what Ren needs to do for her aspiration. Evolve five different plants, but all of our plants are perfect. What are we supposed to do when all of our plants are perfect? <laughs> That's awkward. She's never going to finish this, uh, this aspiration. Is it her, is this the last? Oh no, it's not. Grow a cow plant. Okay, maybe we should choose a different aspiration for her. Ah, uh, friend of the world. Hmm, that seems easy. Let's go ahead and do that one. Also, which skill do you wanna work on next? Guitar. Oh, archeology span we could do. Oh, Mizoe's back. How much longer are you depressed for? 11 hours. Sheesh, ooh, love days tomorrow. Okay, that would be, I think that's a perfect opportunity to go out with Kiyoshi, don't you guys think? Yes, a teacher caught Marnie looking at another student's test. I'm sure it was a mistake. Our baby Marnie doesn't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna get her to work on her magic a little bit. When do you have class next, my love? Five days and two days. Okay, you've got a little bit of time to just like hang out and do some things that you enjoy doing. Who's calling Ren? Oh my gosh, Leslie won a school prize. Um, announce it publicly, but give it privately. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Yay, Leslie got an excellence bunny. I'm so proud. So many of these kids in this family get excellence bunnies. It's crazy. Oh my God, be careful. Also, we need to figure out when a good time is to give everyone their wish. Oh, look, she's feeling happy from experimenting in her cauldron. Oh, just kidding. I spoke way too soon. Holy cannoli. <laughs> anyway, oh, there's a cute little booth out here. I love this booth, but I hate when people leave their freaking garbage. Like, throw away your stuff. Um, Let's see what we got. Wow, so many options. Popcorn shrimp, what? Yo. Let's get some popcorn shrimp, Zoe. Maybe that'll cheer you up a bit. I love these booths and I love to see what they like offer because it's usually something different. If she eats this popcorn shrimp, is she gonna learn the recipe? Oh, careful. Is she clumsy? 
Yeah, she is, okay. <laughs> Do you wanna hang out tonight? Who the heck is Barrett? Who's Barrett? He's inviting us to the bluffs. Can I see his photo, please? Oh, that guy. Mm, sorry, we're, we're busy eating popcorn shrimp. Who's this? Brooke Trevino. Hmm. Hey, can I get some popcorn shrimp, please? Honey, are you hot in that? I feel like we need to give her new outfits. She's had the same ones for so long. Um, let's do, oh my God, we haven't seen half of these outfits either. Wow. Let's do, what am I feeling today? What am I feeling? We've never seen her wear this, so let's do this one. It's so cute. Eat your shrimps. Oh my God, clean up these cups. What is happening right now? Clean up this booth right now. You're not gonna get any business this way. Okay, where's our shrimp? Thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay, sweets. Sit, enjoy your shrimp. Look at Patchy over there. <laughs> oh, that was so fast. You gobbled that shrimp down. Uh, what is this? A job? The athletic career? Interesting. Your wonderful reputation will go a long way towards helping turn things around. We'd love to mold you into an athlete. She does like fitness. I wonder. I wonder how quickly she would climb the ladder. Cause she could do this career. And then when she's done with uni, do the scientist career? Should we? I'm kind of tempted. This is like kind of perfect for her. You know what? I'm gonna accept it. And if it becomes too much, then we'll just quit. We'll just quit. So two to nine, that's, that's not bad. It conflicts with our schooling on Wednesdays and Fridays. Shoot. Oh, she busted out her homework. What a good girl. Oh, we learned how to make popcorn shrimp. Yeah, <laughs> that's dope. Whoa, that guy just fell off his broom right in front of, whoa. Okay, Alfredo, I see you. Stella, why aren't you getting promoted, my love? Why? Oh, your flower arranging skill is lacking. Oh, Luna's here. I don't care what arrangement you make, just make one. Okay, Zoe, I say, oh, he got a cupcake and he's gonna sit with us. Okay. Um, are you gonna speak to us? No? Two, he two bit that cupcake, holy crap. All right, he's not gonna speak to us. Are you gonna fly away? The Aurora Borealis in this area is so intense. She's still feeling depressed, so maybe we should wait until tomorrow. Five more hours. Oh, he did introduce himself. Okay, okay. <gasps> Uh-oh, she got him first impression of him. What is it? It didn't look good. Pretentious? Oh, no. She found him very attractive, though, which is kind of funny. Oh, let's um, let's see how, how she feels about Lamar. Perceived as very attractive. First impression, cool and smitten. Um, his sentiment, or his first impression was proper and polite. Okay, okay. All right, let's have a look at Kiyoshi now. Perceived as very attractive. It's too early to tell, but there could be something there. She doesn't have a first impression with him yet because they haven't hung out. I'm gonna let her continue doing her homework in the park. Such a cute little moment. Stella is working on her flower arranging skill. It looks like Ophelia is watching. You should get out of here. There's crazy bees. <laughs> Why don't you play with Marnie or something? You guys are really making me sad here. Aw, Leslie's doing flashcards with Rothio. How cute is that? How freaking cute. Hi, Luna. How's your life? She seems to be vibing. No issues here. <laughs> okay, Ren. Uh, let me see. What skill do we want to do? That can be very, very easy. That I can just tell you to work on and then just like leave you to it, you know? I guess we could just do guitar. Our girl is a freaking musical genius, I swear. I'll get her an electric guitar later, but for now, just go ahead and practice, Ren. Um... All right, how's that flower arrangement coming along? Bless you! How cute is she? 
Look at them back there. Oh. Oh, Stella, no, I need you to uh, continue. She is so done with uni. Like you can just tell she's, she's had it. <laughs> she's had it up to here. All right, lover, why don't you go ahead and call the sadness hotline one more time. See if uh, you're, it cures it a little bit. Two more hours, two more hours. So, oops, there goes my timer. Bye, Luna. All right, she's feeling good. She's feeling good. Um, how's your mood? Good, okay, let's, let's see if Kiyoshi wants to go on a date. Oh, look, she's feeling so happy. She wanted to do her soccer ball. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <gasps> I love her so much. What does she need to do for her job anyway? Crazy. Oh, she just needs to work out. Dance team captain. Does she max her dancing skill? Almost. She's almost level four. Uh, it's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. Yes, let's. Okay, he wants to go to a cafe. I don't know if that's the best idea because cafes are weird. Why can't we just ask him on a date straight from the relationships panel? It's kind of annoying. Thank you, Felix. Appreciate you. What did you get? A drink? What kind of drink, though? <laughs> Kyoshi, let's go. This needs... Oh, my God. There needs to be a trash can. I'm getting pissed off. Oh, God. She was just thinking about freaking diapers. What the heck? Stop it, Zoe. Stop it. Ooh, someone's inviting us to duel. <laughs> oh, goodness. Dooly, dooly, duel, 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 duel. Oh no, I just saw Charlie's photo in our relationships panel as a ghost, and I'm so sad. There's sushi. Ooh, let's go get sushi. That's cute. I haven't been to this lot yet. I've never had Kiyoshi in one of my Let's Plays before. I don't know what his traits are. So this is all gonna be new to me. Shoot, it's raining. No. I guess we can just sit inside. Let me put you in something very cute. Um, Let's do... Let's do this one. We haven't seen this one yet. Or haven't seen it in a while, at least. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. All right. Hi. Let's just give him a compliment and then go ahead and ask for a table. Let's request... Which table do we want? Ooh, there's a nice table up here right by the chef. La la la. Let's just do this one. There's only one table up here. We won't be bothered by a bunch of people. <laughs> Hi. Uh, thanks so much for, for coming out. Oh, we got a new follower. Let's go. He's talking about pee pee pants. He does remind me of uh, Stella's dad, so Zoe's grandpa. Hi, can I get that table upstairs, please? I would love it. Let me see if it's available. It is. I'll take you right this way, please. Hi, Tina. Here we go up the stairs to our table, to our table. Aw, look at that waitress's hair, so cute. Thank you. Cheer up, lady. Dang, look at the cook. That liner though, I see you. Oh my God, they're sitting next to each other. I hate that so much. <laughs> now you gotta like break your neck to speak to each other, but whatever. Ask about career. I don't even really know what he, do, what he does. Ah, uh, Yoyem. A landscaper. Okay, so he's into gardening. I don't have kids. All right, okay. Again, I don't think I want to drink because it just gets them so unbelievably sloppy. I'm just going to get Zoe some sparkling apple juice. I'm going to get some coffee for Kyoshi to eat. Uh, let's see what we got. Where's the sushi, though? Where's the maki rolls? No maki rolls? This ain't no sushi restaurant. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, well, uh, all right, let's just get the salmon for Zoe and we'll get, she always gets salmon, you guys. She's so healthy. Um, what should we get for Kyoshi? Fried fish? Sure. All right, hold on. I want, um, Ophelia to build her motor skill. I want Bailey. Oh, dang it. We can't build the toddler skills while we're gone. Boo. All right, let's learn his, uh, traits. Well, they're just gazing into each other's eyes. I would say that's a good sign. 
Hello. It's a little awkward, I will not lie. I'll have the salmon and the sparkling apple cider, and he'll have the fried fish and some coffee. She's just ordering for both of them. I love it. Yips! Okay, they did. He's feeling flirty. They did something romantic, and I missed it. Romantic? Oh my gosh, she's flirting with her. <gasps> if he's so romantic, where's our rose? Where's our gift? Where's our... Oh, he's flirting again. Holy cow. He's really going for it. Bula shaka tees. Uh-oh. What were you just doing? Something happened. A boring conversation? Do you think that I can cook? Why are you asking him that? He wouldn't know. Oh no, not boring. That's not good. Yes, why do you even have to ask? Well, I mean, I don't know. Is it because I kept doing deep conversations? Is that why it was boring? I'm just trying to learn your traits, my dude. That's it. Oh, he just complimented our outfit. Thank you. <gasps> they got a good sentiment. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Does he have any siblings? Lamar was an only child, and you guys seem to really like that he was an only child and that he would be entering such a big family. I think that's cute too. Because our family is massive. Imagine how big, how much bigger it's going to get when all the babies age up and they start having kids of their own. Oh man, she's feeling very passionate. Okay. Yay, the food came! Thank you so much. Oh no! He really doesn't like having um, deep conversations for some reason. He always gets bored whenever we do one, but I'm just trying to learn his traits, you know? That's it. Eat! Okay, so I'm noticing that all he does is flirt and compliment the way that we look. That's it. And every time we try to have like a deep and meaningful conversation, he's like, boring, I'm bored. It was like the other way around with Lamar. Like he was very, we just were able to talk to him like all night. And it like never got boring and he didn't like come on too strong either. So I don't know. What's he doing now? Ask for a risque question. I think it's probably because he's romantic, but I don't know. Who is this? Judy, get out of here. This is my uh, Judy inspired sim from Animal Crossing. She's gorgeous. So freaking pretty. I kind of want to be your friend. So let's introduce ourselves to her. Oh, she's feeling angry though. He didn't even eat his fish. What was the point of coming out with us to dinner if you don't want to eat? Judy's a stay-at-home mom. Good for her. Love that for her. Okay, I need to know your traits. Why, why are you withholding that information from us? Mentally gifted? That's a custom trait. But he's smart. Likes video gaming? Okay, that's something that we have in common. Okay, so... What's happening? What are you doing? He's just up here with all these like very pretty women and he just, I don't know. It just seems like he doesn't know what, he doesn't know what to do. Why is he looking at her like that? Okay, what's he going? Oh my God. Why is there always a fight every time? Oh, you're hungry? Yeah, you have freaking fish over here that you never touched. I'm annoyed. He's kind of annoying me. They're just like, what's going on over there? What are they fighting about? Mm. A lover spat, I assume. Can you guys like do that downstairs, I wonder? All right. Well, I'm ending the meal. Um, let's go. Let's go somewhere else with him where there isn't like as many distractions. Cause yeah, that was a lot. Sugar Maple Park it is. All right, let's see. Is there somewhere cute that we can just sit and talk? I guess we could just sit over here on this bench. See what's good. 
cute little after dinner hangs. Um, describe new idea. She's feeling quite, quite inspired. He isn't even looking at us. What is that about? Oh, babe! Oh no, how embarrassing. Is he gonna do anything? Oh, he's laughing at us. Okay, well that's just great. Love that. No, sweetie, not again. Oh my gosh. I'm not feeling the heat. I'm not feeling it at all. I don't know if you guys get the same kind of vibe that I do, but I don't know. So I think tomorrow we should go out on another date with Lamar and see how that goes. See if it was like as good as the first one. Yeah, all Kiyoshi kept doing was flirting with us, looking us up and down, complimenting our outfit and the way that we looked. And every time we tried to have a deep conversation with him, he was just like, yawn <laughs> so i don't know we learned lamar's traits so quickly and he was just withholding his information he wasn't even looking at us when we were talking i don't know man i don't know i guess we'll see how it goes with lamar tomorrow on love day she's feeling miserable do you remember how she felt when she came back from the date with lamar she fell down um She's really tired. Okay, I'm gonna get her to take one of these potions and plentiful needs. Much better. When she's addicted to potions. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you can get addicted. Look at Bailey loves the guitar. That's so sweet. Aw, oh, maybe he should be our little musician. Ren! No, don't have an emotional meltdown. Oh God. Things are not going well in this house. Oh my god, she's just wailing. You poor baby. So it looks like Zoe's gonna have to miss work today, her first day of work, because she has class. I did not think this through. I don't think she'll get fired if she misses one day, but still. Ren has unlocked the indoorsy lifestyle. <laughs> All right then. Oh, we can take a vacation day. Let's do that. I don't know how we possibly have a vacation day already because this is our first day of work, but whatever. Oh my gosh, Paul is inviting us on a date today. I don't think so, sir. I'm sorry. We should probably ask him if he wants to be just be friends because yeah, that's not happening. It's just not. <laughs> what do we have to do today, by the way? We've got class in three hours. So I think after class, we will invite Lamar on a date. Hopefully he invites us himself, but if he doesn't, we'll just invite him. Oh, we also need to get another gig for Ren. Oh, uh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we, what should we, what should we do? Uh, I think detective law would be sick. Ooh, what's up, Zoe? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Of course you can. We are single and ready to mingle. Um, Ophelia drew an inappropriate piece of artwork. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> we encourage creativity. <laughs> no, he's orange headed. Oh my God, orange headed, red headed. Oh my God, what the heck? Yo, Paul, that's the second time you've invited us on a date today. No thanks. <gasps> oh, Marnie got her grades up. Nice, love to see it. Okay, Zoe, have a great day at school today. Make good choices, take notes. Uh, Ren, what are you doing? Who's calling? Max, what the heck? I missed it, but it was Max. What are you mortified from? You're just having a mood swing? Okay, fair enough. Oh, honey, 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 no, don't pass out, go to bed. It looks like she can still go to work, even though she took a vacation day. So that's good, that's good. Let's, let's just get her to do that. Okay, so once Zoe gets back from work, we are going to invite Lamar on a date because he has not contacted us today, which is kind of a bummer. But it kind of seems like Zoe has to do everything. <laughs> so 
Yeah, it is what it is. You know what I wish? I wish we could, oh, hi, Luna. I wish we could um, make flower arrangements out of the alien plants. Look at little Bellamy walking like a straight up little human back there. He's too cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Zoe is back and she's feeling flirty. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a potion. Does she need a potion? Kind of, a little bit. Shoot, we don't even have any. That's okay. Okay, so, oh my gosh, look at her career outfit. <laughs> It oddly suits her. Okay. Let's see. Ask on date. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What did he just take a picture of? What the heck? Hi, Lamar. Was wondering if you wanted to go on a date with me. It's love day. What do you think? Let's try this one. Chef's kitchen, romantic aura, and convivial. Convivial. I have such issues pronouncing that word for some reason. Fingies cross this date goes well. If it does, we can ask Lamar to be our boyfriend. Um, and we'll just see. We'll just see. We'll just see how everything comes comes along. And I don't really uh, picture her having like tons of kids, but who the heck knows? This challenge keeps me on my toes, y'all. <laughs> Hi, sir. How's it going? How was your day? <gasps> Whoa, this restaurant's really nice. Holy cannoli. I'm excited. Where should we sit? Is there some stuff upstairs? No, okay. Um, I'm trying to find the most private table possible. This one's nice. Let's do this one. Come on, let's get a table, shall we? Look at the way he's looking at her. I really, I think he likes her a lot. Who wouldn't, honestly? Who the heck wouldn't? Oh my gosh, why are you naked? What happened? <laughs> um, do you not have like a party outfit or a formal outfit? Is that why? Yeah, it doesn't look like you have any outfits. Sit down, please. Sit, slip and fall. No, sit down. All right, cute cuties. Look, look at his face. I need to get a mod where if you go out to dinner with a sim, they pay for their portion and we pay for our portion or we have the option to be like, can you have the other sim pay? <laughs> It's love day, so I'm gonna get them to both have some wines. Eh, oh my god, ramen. Okay, I'm gonna get the blackened bass for her. And then for Lamar, I think we're gonna do... Let's do the sh Yeah, let's do the shrimp for Lamar. I think I'm just gonna sit and watch them and see what they do. I just want everything to be, like, natural, you know? Hi! I'll have the blackened bass and some white wine, please. <laughs> Do you see what I mean, you guys? They're just talking, just chatting. Like, it's not like flirty like suggestive type stuff they're just like talking and i don't know he's actually looking us in our eyes i don't know they just seem to get on so well yay boo enthuse about new show oh my god how cute is she he's like yeah i've seen it i've seen it Receive compliment. Okay, he's complimenting us now. And now he's l telling us an outrageous story. You guys were saying that you picture him either being like a doctor or some something along those lines. Maybe even like a lawyer. Oh, delicious food. Thank you so much. Oh, and look. Oh, thank you. Okay, she's flirting with him now. Cheers. <laughs> Yes, and he's eating. Oh my god, thank goodness. What a lovely, lovely love day, am I right? Uh-oh, she's feeling sick from the wine. Angry drunk? Oh no, my sweet. This is precisely why I just stopped ordering alcohol for my Sims. Aww. Oh. Oh, he look, he's all rosy-cheeked. What the heck was that? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Okay, this is getting bad. I think that it's time to go. I think it's time to go. Unless, unless you want to come in here and barf. Run! Oh, she just farted. Well, it is the bathroom. At least it's in the bathroom. Let's also get some water. Oh, he's waiting for us. That's kind of cute. Okay, he came in here. He's like, are you okay? Are you, are you, are you fine? Yep, just need water. Thank you. Okay, well, um, he's thinking about us. Oh my gosh. Check on Lamar. Feeling better now that she barfed. I'm all right, just have some things I'm dealing with. Fair enough. Yes, legendary date, love to hear it. Okay, I think he left and she's got like a blasting headache. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, let's just go home then. I think it went really well. I do. I think, I think Lamar should definitely be, be our boyfriend for the time. And we'll see how things go. I don't want to like commit so early, but I really love him. And you guys do too, from what I've seen in the comments. So good stuff. It would be cool if we could max two careers in Zoe's lifetime. Like, that would be so clutch. I think that Monday is gonna be her last class? I think so. And then she'll be graduating. Oh my gosh, our baby's graduating. That's so crazy. All right, you guys. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna miss Charlie so, so much. It's not gonna be the same without him. <laughs> so in the next episode, I need to build Stella's house next door or place something from the lot so that we can move her and um, the remaining kids out. And in the next episode, I guess we'll just officially start working on Zoe's generation, which is gonna be crazy. Please let me know what you think about her being in the athlete career for now. Let me know what you think about Kiyoshi's date. Let me know what you think about Lamar's date. I love you guys so much. I really hope you're still enjoying this Let's Play and I will see you in my next video.